I is not dependent on the actions of the Lord. God is good because goodness is part of him. You cannot separate goodness from God. Uh, now this is a special appeal to all those who want good things of life. That if you seek good things of life, then you ought to seek God first. Because seeking the Lord comes with the full package of goodness. Now we have a problem today because the people who seek goodness and they forget to seek God. Now they find goodness but they are destitute of God. Uh, but I want to give you a better bargain today. That those who have God and those who embrace God those who take God for who he is they carry with them a full package which includes goodness. And also God may not be good in a way you want him to be good and to you. But even if he doesn't come in a way that you want him to come, but he is still good. Praise the Lord. God is good. Yes, I bear. The purpose of our meeting today, uh, God had planned in his own way that we have a charity Sabbath. Uh, it bothered me when I met this word charity. Uh, Watch so I was consulting my dictionary to find what this charity means. I love the translation that calls it acts of benevolence. Where you just give without taking note. Now you give without keeping records. And so we thank uh, Ranen uh, Secondary and Primary School. Uh, through the leadership of the chaplain, Pastor Kefa. And if I may miss saying everything, I may not miss to say this. Uh, that Ranen, your blessed wife, Pastor Kefa, with you. This is a man of God who is a real asset. And I can tell you for, 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 for sure that it was said some time back that you may not know the value of what you are having until one day you lose it. Uh, you may not know that which you are having with you until one day it becomes a history. So Pastor Kefa is a blessing. And I cannot miss to say that you have been blessed to have him. I don't want to talk much about Pastor Kefa because it's not my problem today. But I want to present unto you somebody else. Uh, this person is called Jesus Christ. Uh, this man is called Jesus Christ. Uh, he is the Redeemer and the Savior. He was, he is, and he will be forevermore. He is outside time and space. He is too great to be confined within a particular building. And he can't be identified with just a particular denomination. And, and so he is the Lord of Lords and the Redeemer to all. Our subject this day is give. 
and chew give chew now this we are lifting from the book of Luke chapter 6 my mama some Luke chapter 6 and verse number 38 could west the mar pirade could abor the first part of that verse uh me how mo kwago mar west no the bible says give watch on it you shall we pray one lamb speak unto us god amen now the bible biblos is shallow and deep at the same time otut kendo tany tany ese ya chiel no it is shallow in the essence that otany tany e okang mnia even little children can walk through its pages and never get drowned ni nyithindo matindo nyalo wuotho but it is also deep in the essence that even the greatest scholars can never get to its full depth and say they've got all that is in there. It is the only book in the history of mankind any book can de esigand jokadano that has those two extremities ma en kono okenge ariyo matu magi konego even a little child can appreciate what the word of god has to present katanya thematin nyalo yie kendo winjo gino ma biblos no even the scholarly can also feed from the same bit ni katamana ngire moro be nyalo winjo kendo nwango ber manitiere e indiko mar it's because of that purpose ni kech eo kang no ero this one word give is enough to be our discourse today. Ni mano emo mi watch mar chi uni nyalo bedo twak ma wabedo go tine ende. Now lovers of the Bible, Johera mag Biblos have been so keen to highlight certain things about the Bible. O se bedo ka lero gik moko kum Biblos. Now we know that the Bible wasn't written in our local languages. Wange uni Biblos ne o kondiki e doa. But the Bible has been translated into our local languages. Nito Biblos o se loki e dok ma wanyalo now lovers of the Bible have been quick to mention that when you study the Bible you will encounter two different things. Now there is the old origin of the message and there is the recipient of the message. Now, anybody who wants to understand what the Bible has to present has to understand the origin of the message and the recipient of the message. Now the words in the Bible they were words that sometimes were spoken verbally. And the spirit of the Lord led the writers to write down the very words. But I must suggest unto us that the people that were writing the words of the Bible were at liberty of reframing the the words according to how it suited them best. After the Holy Spirit had inspired their thoughts. Now in the Bible there are certain punctuation marks. That when they were used in the original uh, uh, audience they had special information. Now in the verse that we've just read today, the Bible says give and there is a comma. Now the reason why that comma is there it's because when this word was being spoken the speaker of this word the speaker of this word that we will realize is Jesus Christ himself made a deliberate 